welcome to Rick's Corner. I have a few things I'd like to discuss today because I've heard these over the years and I'm sure that many of you had as well. Uh, when I was growing up and I started working out, people would make fun of me and they'd say, you know you're going to build all that muscle and one day it's just going to turn to fat because you're going to lose it all and it just turns to fat and then you, you never get rid of the fat. And I know that we all know that muscle does not turn to fat because they're two separate things in the body. You can't turn fat into muscle, you can't turn muscle into fat. So what they saw, what people saw back in those days, and even today if you might hear it, is somebody would build themselves up, they'd watch their diet, they get really big, and then they quit training, but they continue to eat. And anytime you continue to eat and you don't burn it off, you're going to gain fat. It's not that the muscle turned the fat, the muscle atrophies and it starts to sag, um, but you build fat over the top of it. And this is just what happens. So I don't know that they were people just uneducated or what. But they kept thinking that, oh my God, you're just going to get fat as you get older. And I used to hear so often, oh, when I was just out of high school, oh, by the time you're 20, 25, you're going to quit working out. You'll just be fat and that's going to be it. Well, here it is 50 years later and I never turned to fat and I never quit working out. So um, these things are fallacies. People just don't get it when you're making a change in your body. And then people will come up to you, and I'm sure they have to you as well. If you've gained, say you've gained 10 pounds, 15 pounds of muscle, and they say, oh, did you lose weight? Obviously not, you're 15 pounds heavier. Or if you lose weight, they say, did you gain weight? They, they don't know what they see, but there is a change in the body. But people are quick to judge and they're quick to put you down for what you do because they don't do it. And, and that's probably a big issue or a big factor why these things are being said. Um, they don't want you to be satisfied that you've made gains in your life, you've done something different, and you've bettered yourself, so they find a way to knock it down. The other question that I've heard from a lot of people on the street, and I hear this a lot wherever I go, and I'm sure you do too. Oh, you work out hard. You, do you, take, you don't take steroids, do you? And I'll ask them, why do you even ask me a personal question like that? Well, you know, they can kill you. What's your point of reference? And they'll say, well, I heard it on the news. Well, I hear a lot of things on the news, and the news is never right. They, they take facts, and they blow them out of proportion, and they make everybody think it's real. You'll see someone who died and they'll say, well, they found steroids in the medicine cabinet, therefore he died from that. Well, did they find the pain pills? Did they find the alcohol in the kitchen? Did they find all the other things they take? You know, they only stress the one thing. And uh, this kind of stuff really bothers me. And, and it's also, too, that, you know, they, here in California, they always say the big earthquake's coming. We have earthquakes, we have earthquakes, and everything's falling apart. And then we hear in the south, there's thunderstorms and tornadoes and all this. And they blow it out of proportion. They show you one little scenario and they make it into something big. Well, it's the same thing in bodybuilding. You know, it's just like a, a, a bodybuilder killed somebody, so therefore all bodybuilders are bad. A bodybuilder died of a heart attack, therefore he took steroids. You know, it's, um, I just get really upset about when I hear these kind of things because there's no facts behind them. They don't do any research. And the same thing, like I said, with muscle turning and fat, there are two different types of cells. And this is just how it is. I mean, I've been uh, ripped at 220 and I felt fat at 213, lost the weight. So. I think a lot of that for me was doing so much cardio that I wasn't burning muscle and I was retaining some fat. So those are two, those are a couple of the items I want to talk about. The other thing is someone asked me to talk about cigarettes and, and alcohol in bodybuilding. Well, I've never really been a drinker, so I don't really know other than the fact that if I've had a few beers, it makes me very lethargic and tired. Cigarettes I don't smoke, but I know that cigarettes can kill your cells and your skin and make them really age quickly. Because if you see people who smoke a lot, they get a lot of wrinkles and a real dry skin and it just doesn't look healthy at all. And alcohol uh, does kill cells, there's no question about that. I remember in high school when I was drinking a couple of beers on a Saturday night, I wake up Sunday morning, I was so tired, I didn't want to do anything. To go to the gym for me was a chore, so therefore my feelings were it beat me down and it wore me out. Um, hangovers are the worst. I mean, you're going to go work out with a hangover, I mean, you just can't do it. If you're trying to make gains in your body, and why tear down cells and destroy yourself when you're trying to build up cells and, and develop muscle? So it's just something that people have asked and they said talk about it. I don't have a whole lot of knowledge on it other than the fact that I do see people leaving the gym and lighting up a cigarette right away. I see these same people out on the weekends drinking and getting drunk. Some of them look fine. Jimmy Snuka, a wrestler, he drank a lot of alcohol. I don't know if he smoked, but he drank a lot of alcohol. I worked on the road with him. He was drinking whiskey every night. The guy was muscular and ripped. So there's an example where it didn't really affect him. There are other people that it does affect. And um, my take on the whole thing is, you eat healthy, you train hard, you're motivated to do something right. Why tear it down by drinking alcohol and smoking? I mean, what's the purpose of it? You're just doing complete opposite of what you're trying to achieve. So I just wanted to bring that up a little bit. If you guys have any knowledge on it, you can always feel free to make comments on this. Um, 
because people do write to me and ask me questions and they say, can you say this on your show? And so I am, I'm bringing it out to the public so you can judge what you want to do and make your own comments on it. I just think it's important to know these things. You know, you're trying to build yourself up and be something better than what you are, then do the things that make you better than what you are. Don't do things that tear you down and, and defeat your purpose. Uh, sleep is very important. Um, I haven't had a lot of sleep this week. I had some sort of a bug and boy, it came out in the gym. I was just exhausted. So that's another factor. You gotta have your rest, you gotta have your sleep. If you don't, you're just gonna wear yourself out. You can't do what you wanna do when you wanna work out. Anyway, take it for what it's worth. Uh, if you have any comments, like I said, post them and let people know what you think about it. Um, what, what I'm saying here isn't, it's not based on everybody. Because like I did say, I, there's a friend of mine who was in the gym. He was 300 pounds of ripped. I mean, it's just huge and contest shape. He smoked every day when he left the gym. Didn't seem to bother him at all, but it does some people. And um, you probably know what that is yourself. You guys are probably experienced yourself. So uh, share your experiences and um, let us know what you think because I think it's important to know these things. And I also wanted to tell you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I've been getting maybe 500 subscribers a day. You'll get instant information on what's going on and what I'm doing. I'm also writing for Huffington Post. I put two articles out a week on bodybuilding and fitness and everything in general like that. So you can read it too with photos and videos and all that good stuff. Thanks for being fans of Rick's Corner, and I will see you next time. It's rickdrayson.com. He is the equalizer.